make sure to become a member to help the channel link is in the description hello guys once again it's matt and today we have another video we are uh, looking at uh, tv guided bombs so we have four guided bombs in war thunder we are here and we are going to uh, tell a little bit on how to use them and the strategy on them uh, basically the differences between them as well so yeah let's first look look at them and on the hangar a little bit uh, so we have the cab 500 here for example but uh, first of all uh, we need some uh, keybinds so yeah uh, the first thing that I normally use uh, it is of course uh, first of all we have to go here uh, to options and air battles and the automatic activation of aircraft weapon selection at mission start I always use this uh, it will make you that you have one button to actually change uh, you're going to have one button to actually fire secondary weapons and one to fire the main weapon the main weapon being the cannon and the secondary being all the, the external pylons and stuff like that so uh, I use out for example on the side of space uh, to actually choose between the R60 for example to the bombs and then uh, with the normal button that I normally use on the mouse for, for dropping bombs and missiles uh, it's just one bomb button to everything so it's a little bit easier uh, you go for controls and you need uh, the, the switch secondary here and then fire secondary and it's basically Basically, this is it. Uh, with this, you can uh, lock uh, stuff and, and do stuff like that. Uh, but there are some others, uh, like lock guided w uh, bombs, for example. You can actually choose um, button. Let's try lock guided weapons, uh, bombs. You can actually um, do uh, to actually lock the target and stuff like that. But yeah, you have to do, to have that buttons. And let's just talk a little bit about the bombs that we have. We have four bombs. So uh, the only Russian that we have, uh, it's for the, the MiG-27M and the K, which is the Cub 500. Uh, of course, it is TV guided as we are doing the video on that. Uh, it has 160 TNT equivalent and very long range, pretty good uh, weaponry. Uh, fly very high and drop the bombs from far away. Uh, also, we have four American ones. So, first of all, we have the Walleyes, as you see this one, the Walleye 1, 264 kilograms of TNT. Pretty good bomb, uh, but it has a limited range, a very large bomb. Uh, it has basically the same amount of TNT as a Mark 83, so it is a very large bomb. And, yeah, it's the same way as the Cub 500 uh, guidance system, TV guided and stuff like that. Uh, we also have the extended range variant of the of the walleye. As you see, the wings are clipped a little bit, so it has a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit less drag, and it goes a little bit farther away. But uh, the way that it works is the same, and of course the the amount of TNT is the same because it's basically the same bomb. Uh, very similar. To the Mark 83, as you see, a little bit less than the Mark 83, but very similar. Uh, another uh, two bombs that we have, we have the GBU-8. Uh, it is basically a Mark 84, so a 2,000-pound bomb, uh, one of the largest one with the modular uh, upgrade to be guided by TV, as you see here, the sensor and the fins to be to, to be able to turn and stuff like that. But being a very large bomb, it has a very large amount of TNT, 500 kilos, but you have to be careful because uh, it doesn't have the most amount of range and and the most amount of turning capability because of the size of the bomb. And the last but not least, we have the GBU-15, which is basically the same as the GBU-8, uh, but with a different module package. I think it's more maneuverable, if I'm, mista I'm not mistaken, but it's still the same Mark 84 that we already have in the GBU-8, but it has larger fins, a better sensor, maybe, I don't know, I think it's the same, but it's just a better turning capabilities and stuff like that. So, yeah, basically this is it. Uh, let's go for a test flight to actually show to you guys how to use it. Uh, a little bit and then we go for a battle 
just a quick one to to show how to use it in battle as well so we are here in the test flight uh, remember the TV guided weaponry are always fire and forget so you will always uh, fire the miss the bomb and you have you you can turn away and not care about where the bomb is going to drop uh, especially against AA systems I still I'm still a defendant of um, War Thunder having anti-radiation missiles uh, because the AA systems are pretty OP sometimes and the aircraft you have to be a very uh, basic driver of an AA system to kill a, an aircraft and you have w to be a very good pilot to actually destroy uh, AA systems not being killed so yeah it is kind of I don't know <laughs> but anyway the way that it works as you see we are going to use uh, this TV guided system uh, because the MiG has this but you're going to lock on the target with the lock button that I set click the button to track as you see right there and click the button to actually release the weapon uh, once it's released it's going to track to the target directly to the target as you see and kill it uh, so yeah uh, it is a very interesting uh, weapon and a very effective one one of the best ones uh, my strategy is always flying high as I'm going to show a little bit later but uh, and also you normally will have this sighting system instead of the other one that I show it uh, but it, it this uh, MiG-27 actually has this camera which is a little bit better but as you see uh, let's try to do this and you can drop many bomb as many bombs as you want not sure if this is going to track but we can always do this yeah as you see you can actually use the third person as well I think I missed the other ones I oh, know the other ones are going they just are taking a lot of time but as you see it is pretty effective uh, and you have a very long range uh, remember you cannot use uh, CCRP with it which is kind of sad uh, because if you actually can use the CCRP you would be able to lock a target from 20 kilometers and actually launch it like this you know and on a vertical and just the bomb will go there but we cannot do that but we can do some some weird stuff let's try to to get a target from as you see I can lock it it open and you just climb as much as you can and drop the bomb let's see if we can hit it so I dropped uh, from I don't know nine kilometers maybe ten let's see if it tracks but yeah it is a very powerful bomb to be released from far away as you see especially uh, from beyond the range of the AA systems and as you see it's tracking perfectly I think it's going to hit I launched the other one but it, the other one is not going to hit but as you see I launch it from like 10 kilometers and it still hit it so yeah try to launch as far away as possible just because of the AA systems that we are going to see in this kind of BR of course if you are using uh, the on the A4 for example the wall eyes you don't need too much of it but yeah I locked from a very far away position as you see and the bombs like 10 kilometers 11 kilometers and the bombs will drop eventually there so we actually missed uh, I didn't have the energy to actually drop it oh I broke my wings but uh, anyway let's try to to show uh, the other ones and here we are with the GBU-15 for example uh, the principle is the same but we don't have the the nice uh, screen with the zoom and stuff to actually use it like the MiG-27 but still a pretty easy bomb to use as you see we're going to have this uh, vision that doesn't have a uh, variable zoom as you see and you're going to aim uh, directly in the middle there uh, you have this cross in the middle there but uh, you have to just 
guess where it is basically and click the lock button and it's already tracking as you see and each bomb that you would released it's going to reset the sighting system of course uh, because the sighting system actually is using the bomb itself and not uh, a TV guidance pod or anything like that so yeah then it's a little bit uh, different okay uh, you have to use the actual uh, TV system of the bomb itself to, got to, to actually find the target which is a little bit harder but uh, anyway they don't have any thermals or anything like that so remember that uh, only with the Jaguars, but there it's a laser guided weapon that I'm going to talk about in other videos. But anyway, let's get into some battles and just to show around a little bit. So let's try to use them uh, in a battle. We're going to climb a lot. We are 13 kilometers away. We're going to try to, to fire from the side. We have to really be careful with AA systems uh, remember the AA systems are pretty OP in this BR <laughs> so yeah and we might even uh, lose the target and stuff like that but we are going to try to to get them by very far away uh, five kilometers height pretty good I think we already have uh, a good capability of range here let's try to use the Ooh, it's just too much as you see at the place there, let's try to use them here, uh, here, oh, what is he doing? So three bombs dropped, yeah I think the flag red actually is killed, let's see if the bombs actually hit the target but as you see we're going to try to fire from very far away just because it's a little bit easier to actually uh, just stay alive you know I don't think it's tracking properly yeah it's not tracking as you see it's going to drop in a place that there's nobody there uh, that's the problem I actually hit it uh, but uh, what was that there's somebody overturned <laughs> but uh, as you see it, this is the, the the proper way to do it even though I actually didn't hit anybody this is the safest way and yeah just let's try let's try to drop on that AA system and let's RTB while the bomb is actually It's rotating a lot. Let's see if it's actually... Mm, I might lose... Yeah, I think I lost the... Because of the... Oh, no. Yeah, I got him. I thought I, I lost the... <laughs> the, the actually, uh, the, the thing. But uh, this is the way to use it. Uh, the first drop, I actually effed it up a little bit. Uh, but anyway... And here we have the GBU-8 guys, the GBU-15 I mean, uh, let's try to use it, uh, there's a lot of enemies there, a lot of AA probably, but we're going to try to climb, as always the strategy is to climb, side climb a little bit, get to 5000 meters and just try to to drop, t uh, drop the bombs from far away. Uh, it is really hard to actually get a kills uh, in top tier with these kind of bombs sometimes. Just because of the AA system, as I said before, the AA system in this in these tiers are pretty pretty hard. Let me let's try to come on. What was that? No, stop! That fucking bomb, crazy. There you go. Ah uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> it, it's not working properly. <laughs> I'm going to end up getting killed. No. Oh no, I dropped the bomb. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was best mech. Oh, come on, this is BS. Yeah, so you have to be careful with a lot of things. Uh, yeah, the bomb 
just didn't do anything. Uh, let's try to get another one. Because it was past mech. I forgot that I was actually accelerating. But yeah, you have to be careful. It is really problematic sometimes to drop these bombs. Especially the American ones. Yeah, it's guiding. Let's try to get it right there. Bomb away. On the way. It's guiding in a very weird manner, but I think it's going to hit. And splash. Uh, what the? What was that? But yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> this is problematic, but I think I can land. Uh, but anyway, basically this is it, the way that I use the bombs and stuff. Be careful with speed, be careful with everything. Sometimes it's a little bit, little bit overwhelming. Oh, the AA system is actually shooting at me. So yeah, be careful. I, I'm still... What is that? Oh no. Oh, come on, man. I don't have an aircraft to actually fight you. Uh, but I think I'm still a defendant of... Uh, some aircraft like the most top tier ones have uh, anti-radiation missiles uh, but anyway uh, we cannot get everything that we want right <laughs> so anyway I hope you enjoyed make sure to become a member make sure to subscribe and let's keep going guys uh, if we don't get the custom loadout I'm going to be releasing this video on Wednesday if we do I'm going to be releasing this video on next week and then the weekend we're going to see uh, the 10 videos that I'm planning. Okay, so I see you guys on the next one and bye guys.